Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Spades here and today I'm bringing you a commentary. I uh, got a little story for you guys, so sit back, relax, and hopefully you enjoy. Alright, so one of my best friends in real life actually does YouTube and all this stuff. His name is Marv Lace. Uh, he's leader of Marvelous Universe, but in this story I'm going to refer to him as Max. Uh, just because I don't feel like saying Marv Lace every time I bring him up. So, this story involves me, him, and another one of our friends named Dakota. Alright, now Dakota is like this dude who, like, you can even know what his voice sounds like whenever he's texting you just because of the way he texts you. He starts off every sentence with, hey man. Like, that's exactly what he sounds like. Alright, so this dude, he's fucking hilarious. He's like one of our, he's like one of our best friends. He's one of our favorite friends. Uh, but he lives really far away, so we don't get to hang out with him all that much. And so whenever he t hit us up and was like, yo, you guys trying to hang out? We're like, you know what? We'll make the sacrifice. We'll make the tw It's like a 20-minute drive. Like, we'll make the trip over there. We'll come pick you up, and we'll hang out for a few hours, and we'll take you home. So Max gets to my house. My house is like a 10-minute drive from Max's house. And then Dakota's house is another 20 minutes from my house. So, whenever we finally get to Dakota's house, he comes outside, we're leaving, and like halfway back in the town, he like says he's hungry. So, we're like, alright, we're not thinking anything about it. We asked him if he has any money, he said yeah. And so we stopped by McDonald's, and I think I got, I don't remember what I got, I don't remember, I remember Dakota got chicken nuggets and some fries. I think I got like a, a chicken sandwich and Max, all he ever eats whenever he goes to McDonald's, all he will ever eat is a fucking ice cream cone. So he got an ice cream cone. We're all sitting there, we get our food and everything's going good. And we sit down and we're eating and this dude comes in with like two women and they're like fucking making so much noise, it's, it's like ridiculous. And so like we all glance over there, but Dakota looks the longest. And since Dakota's sitting there looking the longest, uh, the dude like locks eyes with him and he notices that Dakota's staring at him, right? And Dakota's not no bitch, so if like somebody starts questioning his manhood, he's not he's gonna assert himself, like he's not gonna back down. Like if somebody sits there and is like, Man, what the fuck you looking at? He's gonna be like, Oh my bad dude. Alright, so the guy like sees Dakota looking at him and instantly gets fucking loud as shit. Like he just start being so hostile. He's like, What the fuck you looking at, kid? You got a fucking problem? I bet you I come around, I'll fix your fucking problem. Stare at me some more. And the coach in there is like, man, I'm staring at y'all y'all making so much fucking noise. Who comes to a McDonald's at 11.30 at night screaming their fucking head off? And so, me and my friend Max are sitting there like, oh, we're about to get into a fucking fight at McDonald's, dude. Like, what the fuck is this? Keep in mind, if if it if he came over there and, like, started trying to fight Dakota, I probably wouldn't have done anything just because this man's, like, 45 years old and probably weighs, like, 110 pounds soaking wet. And... Like, I'm 6'3 and, like, 230 pounds. Like, I'm not about to fight somebody who's, like, half my body weight. And, like, the, not to mention that, the dude was, like, 5'6", too. So he's, like, hella short. Like, fucking phase apex out this bitch. And so, anyways, Dakota's sitting there. And out of nowhere, the dude just gets so much louder and so much more violent. And starts, like, leaning over the counter. Like, because there's, like, a counter in between us. It's, like, a little wall. It's, like, comes up to... It would come up to, like, maybe, like... A, midway on my body but it comes up to that guy's shoulder because he's so short and so the guy's like leaning over like lifts himself up and leans over and starts yelling at dakota and out of nowhere dakota pulls out a big ass fucking knife and just sits it down on the table and stares at the guy this is when i could tell this man was a hundred percent bitch made because this man he like no longer wanted to fuck with dakota he just like quieted down the two women that he was with and they went and ordered their food and everything and so they ordered it to go. Like at first, one of the ladies said for here, and then after all this happened, they got it for to go. Because I guess the, that dude really was not trying to get his ass beat, I guess. And so, like, we're sitting there, we finish eating and everything, and then we think we we thought we saw him. Like after we were leaving, because Dakota was like, he was sitting there thinking, man, I wish I would have known which car was his, because Dakota was gonna go slash this man's tires for pissing him off that bad. But uh, anyways, this wraps up the commentary. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this little story about me and my friends uh, with our McDonald's mishap, uh, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, it's been your boy Spades. I'm out.